Hello, in this episode we are going to talk about a very simple but very useful thing changing the order of the operations in a job. I have this body, I want to make a pocket for this bottom hole and a mill face for this part. So let's select the body, create a new job. I will select a template. If you don't have one, you can learn how to make one easily by watching this video. Or you can simply create a job without a template and change the settings in this panel. I have the extend bound box with a zero extension on all sides, the origin in the lower left corner, a 6mm end mill with horizontal and vertical speeds of 3000, I will click OK to close the job. And now as I've told you I want to create a pocket for this hole and the mill face for this one, so let's select the bottom, I have pre-selection turned off so all the faces won't turn yellow when moving the mouse over them, click on the pocket shape button, I will change the pattern to offset, click on apply, ok, then I will select this face, click on the face button, click on apply, of course it's still a zigzag, I will also change it to offset, close the operation clicking ok, and let's go to the simulator to see what happens, pressing play, you can see that it starts milling this part of the central pocket and after milling the pocket up to the bottom it starts milling the face. This may lead to problems. First of them is the cutting edge of the cutter. Sometimes it's smaller than the total depth so first milling the face and then milling the pocket might be useful. Otherwise the chip extraction, the cutting edge of the cutter bit might be too small and there might be problems on the machine when milling this hole first and then the face. Let's say I have mistakenly created them this way. How can I I change the order. So I want to first mill the face and then mill the pocket, this way the cutting edge of the tool bit won't be engaged too high. The first way is by double clicking the job, going to the work plan tab and here I have all the operations listed and when selecting either one of them I have a move up or down button depending on the position. So let's move the pocket. After the mill face you can see the order changed, I will click OK and now first it's milling the face, then the pocket. I can still optimize the pocket. Now that the face is already milled, I will double click it, go to depth, select this face and click on the arrow next to start depth. And if I hide the mill face, you can see now this is the, a normal workflow. Just mill the entire face from here and then mill just the remaining part of the pocket, not from the top because it would lead to a lot of air time. So this is the easiest way to make changes to the order of the operation and the normal way to make changes. Double click on the job and go to the work plan tab. Here select them, move them up or down. No matter how many operations you have, you can still order them by moving moving one step upper or lower. The other way to change the order of the operations isn't so safe but it works. Let's say I want to put the mill face after the pocket shape, I will select it, drag it to the document, you can see it now it is outside, move it back to the operations group and as you can see I've changed the order of the operations. But there's one disadvantage to this method by just dragging them out of the operations group and then putting them back in. Let's create another operation, let's say I want to make a profile and now I have three operations. but I want the profile to be the first one. This means I have to drag both of these out, then drag them back to the operations tab. And now the profile is the first operation, then is the pocket and then is the face. So I'll have to drag the pocket again out of the group, drag it back to the operations tab. And now I have the correct order, profile, mill face, pocket shape. So now let's move them back to the initial order and let's do the same thing by the normal workflow going to the work plan. So I want the profile to be the first, I select it, click on this arrow twice. Then I want to mill the face, it's a much easier to understand workflow and uh, much safer practice to do it this way. Now the operations are in the correct order. So changing the order of the operations, it's a very easy thing that can be very useful in a lot of situations, especially when optimizing cutting time and reducing air time, such as milling this pocket, changing the order of the operations, allowed me to start from this phase and go down to avoid all this air time in this piece. Thank you for watching and see you next time.